Hello there. So I'm going to talk to you about board five of the Andrew Robson Bridge online duplicate on BBO. Details you see in front of you do come and play. You're more than welcome whether you live in Vladivostok or Adelaide or Seattle. Do come and play or indeed southwest London. And uh, also I'm hoping that many of you are subscribing to my daily bridge casts. Also see the link in front of you. And here is board five in which north south are vulnerable and the dealer is north. Now assuming we're playing a weak no trump, I realise it's different if you're playing strong. One of the great beauties of the weak no trump is that it is so preemptive, hard to bid against. I must say personally, I do admit I occasionally do play a strong no trump, but when I'm sitting down and playing against opponents, I'm much happier when I hear they're playing strong, much easier to defend against than I am when they say they're playing weak. And actually more and more top players are playing weak no trump these days because they realise the preemptive advantage of doing so. So what do you think East should do over the one no trump? My favourite convention over the opposing one no trump is nice and simple Landy, where a bit of two clubs shows 5-4 in the majors. I'd be lying if I said I'd never done it with 4-4, but in theory, 5-4 in the majors and about 8 to 15 points, with more you double. So this is a classic minimum Landy bid, but how nice to have it available. South's not going to say anything now. No point in bidding hearts when South knows East has at least four hearts. And West has a humongous hand. In a way, one would like to explore a slam, but at duplicate pairs, don't push for close slams. Merely having found the spade fit is probably going to score you about 70% of the match points. So just settle for game. And that's the contract. Reached via Landy. If East passed over the one no trump, you can see the spade fit getting missed potentially. West may decide to bid diamonds at some point. East would pass and they would play a diamond part score, making about nine or ten tricks. Four spades. Ace of clubs lead. South encouraging because they've got the equal queen. Declara, are you thinking about high card points? Your only decision here is guessing the spades. Whether to finesse north for the queen of spades for their one no trump bid or play for the drop. Now... Ace of clubs is led. King of clubs comes next. So now, Declara, in your west hand, you have 17 points. In the east dummy hand, 8 points, 25 points. So north-south have 15 points, of which north has 12, 13 or 14. Which means that south has 1, 2 or 3. Now, south having encouraged the club lead implies south has the queen of clubs which means south has at most one other point no room for south to have the queen of spades therefore so what we're going to do after cashing the king of spades is we are going to finesse north doesn't cover naturally no point in doing so but we're going to run the jack boom Got it right. And now we're going to draw North's Queen of Spades. And it's all over bar the shouting. Unblocking the hearts. And cashing the two top diamonds, shedding the nine of clubs. And claiming. So we've made 12 tricks. But I reckon not bidding the slam 
won't cost much. I reckon that four spades plus two is going to score about 75-80% of the match points. No need to risk the slam. Underbid, overplay, the classic mantra at duplicate pairs. Those are the 52 cards and a very good advertisement for the Landy Convention. Two clubs showing both the majors. See you soon.